hey y'all welcome back to the channel glad you came back um we're in our 4l ade build and uh today we're gonna do the forward clutch get it put together and uh we'll go from there get it get it together get whatever we need done and move on to the next thing so uh, if you like what you've been seeing, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, turn the notification bell on, like and share with your friends. Uh, that being said, let's get into it. All right, the forward clutch is very similar to the direct clutch or third gear. The way that I say that is the pistons are almost identical. The, uh, the clutches are the same. They take the same count, same steels. The only difference is on the uh, on the forward clutch, they've got this inner piston seal that's pressed in there. And that does not come with the rebuild kit, and it doesn't come with the molded kit. If you can get that off, if it's if it's not damaged, you can reuse it. There's no chunks out of this thing, and it's still pretty pliable, so it's okay to use. Um, but the pistons are very similar. The return spring is identical. So, there's not an inner seal that we need to do. It's all on the piston. So basically, we just need to give everything some love. Especially the, the outer lip. and the bevel so it makes that piston slide in there a lot easier all right make sure to lube your your inner lip seal do rear it up pretty good Alright, same thing with your piston. Make sure to get this inner seal area here. And make sure to get the bevel. Get your inner inner lip in the center here and your outer. Yeah, they used to have, uh, I use this blue, uh, blue trans gel. Well, it's not actually trans gel. Um, it's called uh, Smart Blend, and uh, this stuff is really phenomenal. The only problem with it is, is if you're in a hot area, it does tend to get pretty soft. Um, but they used to have, they used to use red trans gel, and they uh, they had to discontinue. You can still find it a little bit, but they had to discontinue it for the most part because um, the uh, people would get their transmission back, and if there was any on the outside of it, they'd say their transmission's leaking. So they come up with the blue, and then they've got green. They've got gold trans gel, which I absolutely hate because it uh, come on get in there it has a tendency to you can't see it I like to be able to see that I've got there it goes enough uh, gel on there 
All right, same thing. You get your return spring. We're going to use the, the mouse trap again. Tighten that dude down. Let's see if I can get you all light so you can maybe see a little better what I'm doing. All right, just tighten that down till you get your snapper and groove exposed and go a little bit beyond it. doing the same thing the other one did. It what happened is that spring will get caught in that uh, snappering groove and it won't go all the way down. So make sure to pay attention to that. Put that, put your snap ring down in there. Okay, we're in the same boat. If you can see down in there, it's not down far enough to let that snap ring go all the way down in. So, to give her a few more cranks. And there you just heard it snap. Take our mouth strap off. Off we go. And there you go. There's that part. This one also has a wave plate in it. Okay. Same thing. Get a wave plate. Goes in first. Then you'll have all your clutches. Then, on this one, you've got some thrust washers that go in there, which is a brass one, okay? You want to put some love on the inside of that. Two purposes, actually. One for lubrication, but for two, it holds the... Uh, it holds the the uh, brass washer in there. Give a little love to the top of that, and then this will go in. It actually makes it easier if you do this before you put the clutches in. But I knew I was going to take them right back out. But to keep it all together my steels get here put that in there and they'll just they'll just spline with that hub then on top of that dude this one here you're gonna have another brass ring just put that in there then that one slides on there Then this is actually your pressure plate. So we'll just put that in there like that. Same snap ring as the other one. All right. Okay, y'all. I hope uh, this little short video of uh, setting up the Ford clutch piston, getting that installed in there. I hope it helps you out. Um, make sure to hit that like button for me if you did like the content. Um, share it, comment. Um, 
subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, turn on your notification bell so you get all the latest updates when uh, when I upload new videos. And uh, if you like it, stick around. There's more to this series. So uh, that being said, y'all take care of yourself. Take care of each other. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.